As I have been making and designing the pigment bars in between each batch, I've been spending some time in the studio painting and experimenting with them and really pushing them to see how they work with the various Tracy Bautista color products that I design. So in this section of the video, you get to see one of my morning studio play sessions where I am playing and painting, swatching out the new fall forever chasing sunsets watercolors, and then building up some layers using the pigment bars and some pigment stones, a little bit of a graphite drawing stick, and just kind of experimenting and playing. So I actually start coloring and, and scribbling over the wet paint, which you can do with these pigment bars, but they work better at releasing the color when you're painting or the paint underneath is dry. So that was just a swipe of one of my pigment stones, which are more like a soft pastel, and those are water-based, so those work great when you have a wet background. But you can see I'm still using the pigment bars and coloring right over the wet paint, but you may notice that if you try to do that over watercolor that um, it's not as, as smooth as a mark, which is totally fine with me. I'm just trying to experiment and play. So you can use these on top or underneath. If you put them underneath as the first layer and then use watercolor over the top, then they become uh, more of a resist. They actually act as a resist. But you can see that by using the multicolored bars and scribbling with them, the the color that comes out on the page is got multiple pigments in it. And you'll notice that, that I tried to paint in the one area while it was wet and it didn't show up. So it also depends on the pigment that the pigment bar is made of, but these are highly pigmented. So you'll notice that they make some really beautiful mark making and lines. You can spread them with your fingers and also I love using hog hair bristle brushes um, or any kind of any kind of brush that has kind of a thicker um, bristle. So you'll notice when I tried to rub the pigment bar when it was wet, it kind of just didn't move. So that's the other um, drawback from using them over wet paint, even though you can see them really well they won't move when the paper is wet. And then again, I'm using the graphite and then also that is a Derwent um, Neo Pastel, I believe. So those are both water soluble. And then I continue just to add, add more marks over the top and play with some of my water media pigment stones. So you'll see me kind of grinding the stone on the tile and then coloring with that, but also making a paint with the pigment stone and then making additional marks. So all of my products can be used together and I encourage you to experiment and to see what you can create. One of the things about the pigment bars is that they need, in order to have them dry, you need to fix them with a fixative. Um, or you can also blend them out with various oil, drying oils like linseed oil, or I love using lavender spike oil. And I'll share more about that in um, an upcoming session. But I'll continue to paint some of my water colors over the top of this and just make additional marks. Really, I'm trying to experiment with the colors, do a little bit of color swatching, and just see how the pigment bars work with my other
products. Today is packaging and shipping day in the studio. I've got a lot of yummy Tracy Bautista color goodies that are getting ready to be shipped out for the final, final water media play box. And so this is the Forever Chasing Sunsets set, swatch tiles, watercolor pens, inks back here. We've got a couple of different inks that will go in this box and some other goodies. So all of the packaging that I choose to use is recyclable. I've got lots of hand stamped pieces. So these are the new wrappers for the pigment bars and they look like little candies, kind of fun. Um, and then I've got some different boxes that I use. And so these are meant to be used as not only packaging for the actual product, if I can open this with one hand, um, but I encourage um, everybody to actually, I should have taken this off, there we go, to reuse. And so you can put the pigments, the pigment bars unwrapped in here. Um, there's a little cushioning in there that you can take out if you want and pigment stones, anything if you wanted to travel with these, it's a great little case. And so that's the pigment stones. Some of the pigment stones actually will, um, depending on how many they are, some of them may get a little muslin bag. Uh, it just depends on what is going in the box. And then I've got some other packaging that is a lot of fun where I put the um, watercolors in. And then we hand wrap these, the tiles, in uh, some corrugated cardboard and seal it up with some tape. So that is just a little behind the scenes. It's actually really overcast today, so the lighting in here is not the best. I don't have any of my studio lights on right now, but just thought I would give you a little behind the, scene, behind the scenes peek into what goes into the packaging. These are my new pigment bars and they're so, I'm so excited for everybody to try them. So I'll be sharing a lot more about these over the next month or so, but happy creating. And for those of you who are members of my Water Media Play subscription box, there's a little sneak peek. Have fun painting enjoy playing and the creative process. Back in the packaging and shipping studio and that's just thought I would show you how these are packaged. So I've got a set of four bars here. There's a blender bar and a couple of duotone, just one that's a single color. And so these get laid out to make sure that all the colors are different. And then they get packed separately. So the longer bars get wrapped inside a tissue and twisted into a cute little wrap, which I don't have any wrapped right now, but then those get stuffed into one of these little bags and then each one of the little square bars get stuffed in there. And then those get packaged inside this cute little muslin drawstring bag. And then those get put in the little craft recyclable packaging containers. So you can see everything is hand stamped. All of these are hand stamped. So buy them in bulk and then we stamp them. And then even some of these. So anything you see with the Tracy Bautista color, most of that is hand stamped. Almost all, actually all of it is hand stamped. <laughs> um, so that is why packaging and shipping takes a bit longer than normal because there's so much detail that goes into each one of these packages. 
Lots of bars getting ready to be shipped out. Welcome to Tracy Bautista Color. It has been a busy week in the studio. Packaging more and more and more pigment bars. Making sure that for those who ordered multiple sets, they get completely different bars in their sets. So it's kind of a little staging area um, for all of the different pigment bars. So they're kind of fun. Packaging, I've got these little hand stamped bags um, and then also they're wrapped in tissue paper and then they are put in a cool little box. Some of them are put into a little muslin bag and then they're off to their new home. So just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes peek.